Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. And as promised, this is the part two follow-up video to my video about Dark Sky Watch's video Ambushed on the Border, a day on the border by DSW74 News promo. Now in my last video, I pointed out that Dark Sky Watcher is up to his old tricks again, uh, scamming for money. And I gave him the opportunity to admit that his video was a hoax or I would go ahead and post this video. Well, I've heard nothing back from Dark Sky Watcher 74, so here is the video. Now, to date, Dark Sky Watcher has uploaded four videos about this alleged incident on the border. The first video is at the bottom with the details there, Saturday 27th of July 2019, that's New Zealand time and the latest video at the very top. Now for my video analysis I will be using this first video and this third video here which was uploaded on the 30th of July 2019. Now interestingly of course no surprises that Dark Sky Watcher has actually removed these three videos and this video here is the only one that remains. It's pretty obvious why he has removed these three videos when we look at the analysis next. So first of all, let's look at the first video that he uploaded and let's listen to these sounds very carefully as I play the video. It's just, man, I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? So we see that there were a series of shots before he was allegedly hit and then he picks himself up and he runs away and then there are more shots as he's running away. Now let's look at the third video that he uploaded and see if there are any differences. So there are a couple of differences which become pretty obvious, especially when we compare the videos side by side. In the first video that Dark Sky Watcher uploaded, we hear a number of shots before he was hit. But then in the third video that he uploaded, we hear a very interesting difference. And he even labelled it in his video. And that was the sound of a bullet flying overhead. In one of his now deleted earlier videos, Dark Sky Watcher tries to explain this by saying that there were three different microphones used. Let's have a look at what he said. In the video description to his third upload, he states, Audio synced from two cameras and one independent audio recorder. The shotgun mic only picks up directly in front and the sensitivity was low to cut the wind, but the condenser mic for main cam and all around mic for the recorder pick up everything. The original release was shotgun mic only. Syncing audio from the other sources adds depth to the sound. 
And here is my side-by-side -side comparison of the two videos. The first video that Dark Sky Watcher uploaded is on the top, and the third video that he uploaded is here. And of course we can see the audio waveform for both videos as well. Now let's remember what Dark Sky Watcher said just before. He said the shotgun mic only picks up directly in front and the sensitivity was low to cut the wind. Well that's interesting because we can also hear the gunshots and we have to remember that the gun was being fired not right next to him but from some distance away. Yet we can clearly hear the gunshots. And we can also hear the wind noise which he claims that the microphone sensitivity was cut low to cut the wind. So we hear the gunshots and we hear the wind noise but we don't hear that bullet whizzing past which has mysteriously appeared just here. If we compare the two waveforms here, this is the waveform for the bullet whizzing by. Let's play the two videos. First of all I will mute this track and just play this portion of the video. You can see the comparison uh, video 1 the top left and video 3 bottom right. So let's play that and listen to the sound. Okay, so let's play that same section again, and this time I'm going to swap the mute over so that we're listening to the audio from the third video. Let's hear it again. So despite Dark Sky Watchers claim that the shotgun mic only picks up directly in front and the sensitivity was low to cut the wind, we see that in the first video the camera did indeed pick up the sound of the gunshots, supposedly some distance away, and the wind noise, but mysteriously did not pick up the sound of that bullet whizzing by. For some mysterious reason it is completely missing from the first video. Now before I move on I should also explain the obvious difference in the audio track here and here. This is because of the different edits in the two videos. Uh, as I drag the scrubber across you can see the different video content, video 1 and video 3. Dark Sky Watcher included a title introduction at the beginning of video 3. In video 1 there is more of the audio which I will play right now and you can see the difference. It's just, man, I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? And from here on, it is exactly the same, except, of course, for the bullet whizzing by down here. And that is with both audio tracks playing, which is why there is a bit of an echo there. Now the next very interesting part of Dark Sky Watch's video is when he picks himself up off the ground and starts to run away, and we hear some more gunshots. Let's listen carefully. Did you notice the problem? Well, it seems that maybe Dark Sky Watcher noticed the problem because in his third upload we see that the problem is then corrected. Did you notice the problem? Let's take a look in the video editor. Once again we can already see the problem by comparing the waveforms under the two videos, here and here. We can see that there's actually a difference between the two waveforms. Now this section of video is identical so they should look much the same, but they don't. Uh, they look the same down this end, uh, but not down this end. So what's going on? Let's just play the section again, video 1, I've got track 2 muted at the moment, so let's play that and listen to the volume of the gunshots as Dark Sky Watcher is running away. Now 
Now, even though he is supposedly running away from the shooter, the volume of the gunshots remains exactly the same throughout. He seems to have realized this, or maybe somebody left a comment under one of those videos which he subsequently deleted. Let's mute this track and then play the one that he uploaded with his third video and see what happens. So we can see that in the third video that he uploaded, he's actually lowered the volume as he's running away to simulate what would happen if he was actually running away from the source of the gunshots. This is obviously an afterthought, or as I say, maybe somebody made a comment and he realized that he needed to correct that because it was an obvious oversight. It really is little wonder that he deleted the other three videos. Now the next problem is his reaction when he was supposedly hit by a bullet. Let's watch that part again. Now, we saw that his reaction was instant. The moment that he was hit by that bullet, he went down. Well, there's a little problem with this, and uh, that this is a bit of a myth that you go flying when you get hit by a bullet. Uh, it might look good in the movies, but it's not actually reality. Here is an excerpt from a video called Deadly Weapons, Firearms and Firepower from 1984. It dispels many common myths regarding firearms and ballistics. On the other hand, there's no bullet that can't be stopped. Uh, this is designed right here, will take a uh, 30 caliber rifle. This vest as Alex is wearing right now will indeed stop a 458 Winchester Magnum. However, today Alex is uh, first time for him here, so he's a little nervous, but we'll just hit him with a 308 NATO ball rather than a 458. We've got uh, five rounds in here just to show you what, what we got. Upstairs. I'm just going to fire him here in the, in the dirt. I'll fire four and leave one. You got one left. You know where you want to put that? Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Carefully, please. Okay. I'll put my glasses on so I won't get any blasts in my face. Show you the confidence I got in uh, in Richard Safety, and his vest. Okay, you got hands behind your back. Yep. Notice how he's standing with it. Uh, he's not all hunched forward like this. The impact of a rifle bullet will not knock you over. Well, that's one of the things I want to show you. That's okay. that's true. Thanks for reminding me. Alex is uh, leaning back on his heels here. I want to stay at one foot. What? Well, <laughs> can you juggle while we do this? I'll just stay balanced. I can't hold my foot up that long, but okay. A bullet does not knock you down. Your reaction to the bullet knocks you down. We in okay? Yep. Okay. Let's try and get it right. There it is. Really didn't feel like much. Much less than a punch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, folks. There's hardly any blow to it all. If you think about it, the physics involved, the, the energy received can't be more than the energy transmitted, which means if the bullet had enough power to knock you down, it would also knock down the man firing it. Lower, yeah. So there's not much to it. Uh, what happens is, just as Richard once pointed out, if you come up and stick somebody in the ass with a pin, the guy's going to jump into the air. It's not the force of the pin, it's just your reaction to it. When you're shot, it, upset, it upsets you. It may hit your nerves, you may jump into the air. Rich, I'd like you to yeah. shoot me again one time. I want to carefully balance that one foot to prove the point about the bullet not knocking you over. Mm. You got a crazy pick man up here. That, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to balance that one foot. Okay, I'll shoot you right here. And... Okay. Okay, so you can get a good gang on that. He's on you got, him, foot. got him balancing one foot? Yep. Okay. Nothing to it. <laughs> Just a lot of fluff. But of course, this is not what we see in Dark Skywatch's attempt at Hollywood. Now, either Dark Skywatcher has instantaneous reactions because he went down as soon as that bullet supposedly hit, or the sounds of the gunshots were edited into the video after he filmed. Indeed, any good video editing software has the option to add sound effects, just as I can click here and select from, say, cartoons, 
and say spitball and let's just drop that down on the track somewhere and play the video and there you have it and of course there's no shortage of free sound effects available online such as from this website here and you can just take your pick in his fourth and most recent upload Dark Skywatcher shows us the damage to his vest hardly looks like a scratch does it? but Dark Skywatcher would have us believe that this little scratch was a result of this It really is a wonder that Dark Skywatcher got out of there alive at all when we consider the last part of his third upload. I mean, come on dude, now you're really laying it on a bit too thick, don't you think? But hey, I fixed your video for you. I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? And finally folks, let's remember that Dark Sky Watcher 74 does have a very long history of lies, hoaxes and scams. And in the description area you'll find a link to my playlist showing the very long list of videos debunking his lies, hoaxes and scams. Thank you for watching.